Hello and welcome to the Dolphin Team Cup 2021 Qualifiers Part 1. I am Zach McDolphin, as always, your host. There are 16 teams who are not either auto-qualified or automatically into the B-League by the pre-qualifiers, or last season's top 4 in the overall main tournament. It's a huge variety from 5th place, no, place down to 16th last Dolphin Team Cup and the top four from the pre qualifiers in here. All teams with quite a bit of experience, only two new teams in here the black and blue Ekipe Equinox and, and Icy Blasts, the, the uh, clear light blue and white team. They were making their first appearances in the qualifiers, having done quite well in the pre qualifiers, and with Green Tattles and Colgate Club. But you know, it's a big split of teams. We have our First two events in this video today, being the sprint and block pushing, and I think we will get on straight away with the sprint now. For the sprint, the way things will, for the sprint, the way things will work, uh, sorry, um, is that the winners of each heat, the four heats, will go to a fight to the final for the top four spots. Second places will go to the fifth to eighth, then it'd be ninth to twelfth, and thirteenth to sixteenth, where for the bottom four in the races. Also, remember, the bottom four teams will not qualify for the McDolphin Team Cup. I don't think I mentioned that already. should probably mention that. Anyway, in this first heat, we have got the Carnival Crew, Parrots, Cool Comedians, and Jellyfish. Three teams from the lower part of the standings, plus sixth place, Carnival Crew. They're away. Jellyfish so struggling. It's Carnival Crew who win. It'll be a close one for second between rivals, Cool Comedians, and Parrots. Parrots came in third in this event overall last year, but I think they might have been picked by the Comedians there. Well, it's very tight between them. It's a close start, but Carnival Crew have to pull out the lead. Parrot's dropping back, but they are going to hold on to the, from the Cool Chameleons. It wasn't quite right there. Parrot's will go to 5th to 8th race. Cool Chameleons go to 9th to 12th. Well, on those points, are going to be very significant. Jellyfish getting down last. Not a good start for them. Now we have Fritz's Icy Blasts, the Birds of Prey, and the Cream Team. Cream Team had 4th and 8th in the sprint with Ice Cream. But the winner of the pre qualifier sprint, Snowy, is in here as well for the Icy Blasts. And they're off, it's the first one. And it will be Bud Prey who's going to get the win, actually. Not at all expected result. Creating team, I think, will get second. Let's look at the replay for the third there, I didn't quite catch that. Actually, ends up being tighter for first than it is for third. Icy Blast comes to be third, Fritz is clearly fourth. But Bud to Prey are narrowly going to be given the win there. But very close over the Cream team. Some might even argue the Cream Team Prey, but I'm, pr I'm pretty sure the Birds of Prey just about have it there, but it will be a very close one, as you can see. Now I have Ladybirds, uh, Marine Team, Ekipe Equinox, and Ladybirds, two bird teams, and and a Sprint Medalist, as well as the, the overall winners in the pre qualifiers. Whale, a very strong sprinter, we know for sure. They're off, and Whale has got the lead! Ladybirds, but if I think last there, that was an easy one, don't need to look at any replays of that one. Marine Team, Ladybirds, Ekipe Equinox, and Butterflies in that order. Now I have Green Turtles, Octopi, Seahorses, and the Colgate Club. All of these teams have been strong in at least one sprint event, except the Green Turtles, really. And they're off, and they're the... Oh yeah, there's the Octopi you're going to win. It's going to be close to second. The Colgate Club got last of that. And so we see that the um, Octopi had the lead, and Green Turtles all hit the wall bit to hop back and forth there. And the seahorses will go, oh, just about going to pip them to the 5th to 8th race spot. So not going to be a great result for the Green Turtles there, who missed out qualifying last season, very disappointingly. Jellyfish, Fritz's, Butterflies and Cocker Club, these teams will be in the relegation zone after the first one, we know that for sure. And they're off, and it's the Fritz's who are going to get it all. Cocker Club might have made a comeback for second there, we'll have to look at that. Narrowly, the Colgate Club will be the Jellyfish to the second place. It'll be 14th in this event and one extra point, but still, it is a point. Cool Chameleons, Green Turtle, Icy Blast, and Ekipe Equinox. It's Icy Blast, Head of Green Turtles, Cool Chameleons, and Ekipe Equinox. Our teams in the prequel fight are not doing so well so far, though. Three of them in this race alone. Now, Parrots, Cream Team, Ladybirds, and Seahorses are away. Ooh, this week Cream Team comes to the end in fifth ahead of Ladybirds. Parrots all the way at the end, but Seahorses could not catch them. Now, finally, for the event win, 
Bar the Carnival Crew, Birds of Prey, Marine Team, and the Octopi. Right between Marine Team and Octopi, the up one end. And now away, it's the Marine Team who we're gonna get. It's gonna be close. Birds of Prey might possibly throw away the podium. To look at the replay for that one. To see the replay, Birds of Prey off to the best getaway. But they begin to lose ground. Marine Team gonna get them. Then Carnival Crew, then the Octopi are gonna get them as well. And Birds of Prey still are never seem to be able to get onto the podium. But it will be Marine Team winning over Carnival Crew and the Octopi. No big surprise to see Marine Team winning here in the sprint with way all very strong sprinter and without some wiggy around. It's not too hard for to do well. Carnival Crew as well being generally fairly strong sprinters, as has Octo from the Octopi. Now starting us off in event 2, a block pushing this Cream Team who did a decent job in the previous event. And they're going to get a strong push here. It's going to be close to 36, I think it'll quite be there. And it's being given to 35.5 for Cream Team. That's quite close to the winning result in the pre qualifiers, so that's good news for them. But the problem with a significant lineup makes up with Eagle leading, then Buzzard, Reserve Hawk, and then Al Vult Al Vulture. Al not running. And that's going to be, I think, the worst we've seen ever in so far. That's going to be around 23. And yeah, uh, so 23.4. Worse than anything we saw in the pre qualifiers. Cody Club also running Reserve in a second spot, which is. Some of unusual call that I believe is Pace, or the turf, I'm not sure. They were in the pre qualifiers without Pace, so. Let's see. And that will see their score improve there. They get past 30, which they couldn't do in the pre qualifiers. The final score totals out to 31.2. The Octopi, hoping to get themselves a good result with their classic lineup in classic order. But we'll get the second best. They won't be as good as Cream Team with that. But that will definitely, I think, be Kogge Club. We get a 32.8, which would be pretty decent in the pre qualifiers, which is a good sign for them. Seahorse is yet another team running reserve with Corners Fish in that second spot replacing Sea Dragon. And oh, there's a bit of a chaotic, loads of collisions there. I think that might detract from their score, which would be around 28. In fact, it's 27.9, just off 27 flat. Disappointing there for the Seahorses. Now the Pirates came dead last overall last season. We hope to do anything to recover from that. They had a solid first event, what can they do here? A solid push, it won't be the Octopi, so they'll be probably third I reckon that will be. That's sad you had from the Colgate Club, I'll have to quickly check that though. 31.6 for the Pirates is not great but not bad. Now it's the long-standing rivals of the Pirates, the Cool Comedians, who last season probably thought what could have been had they not been disqualified. In the seventh event of relay, they would have come in eighth place, and they get a strong push here. It's gonna be around thirty-five, maybe slightly worse. Um, that could possibly be getting the challenge for the top three. And the answer is it's a thirty-four point five overall, which is gonna be a solid push. I think. I think that is second place right now. Now the icy blasts, one of the new teams. Can fifth in the pre-qualifiers in this event. Oh, they lost the marble. That will not do anything to their run, but they don't get a rerun for that. They get a rerun if they knock up the block out. That's going to really hurt them there. That's not at all what they wanted. They're going to get something around 24. And yes, it's a 24.9, which is the second lowest of the day. We had the halfway point now. See, it's still Cream Team with the lead, with Cool Cream in second. Jellyfish had a bad first event in the last season's main tournament. They had a great start, three bronze medals in the first half, and were in third, and then fall all the way down to twelfth. Barely scoring any points really in the second half. Oh dear, and they're not—they're going to be growing barely any points here either. Barely a single nudge. The final marble, and there were barely any either before then. That's going to be around the twenty-one range. It's twenty-one point five for the jellyfish. It's going to be right towards the back, possibly even in dead last. I'll just quickly check that, and you'll see on the screen yourself though. Hopefully the Fritters can distract everyone from that calamitous run. Their are off the team finish seventh last season, will not get seventh in this event. I mean, that's exactly what's important. They are going to be around the 29 range there, that's going to be not great. And that comes in at 29.2 for the Fritzes. One of the lower runs we've seen so far, I think fourth worst so far, possibly, maybe slightly. Somewhere around that range, so basically, it's not a great run. The first qualifier event winners, and... 2020 champions, Marine Team. A very interesting choice here, putting neither Dolphin nor Ray in, putting both reserves in. Shark at the front, who's not going to be competing in 2020 
won't do proper because of surgery that will stop them from competing for the season. See what the, these dark blue marbles can do. Oh, they've knocked the block out, and we're going to have to have a rerun. To try again. They keep it in this time, and that's uh, slightly disappointing, I think. And they were hoping for something slightly better. It's going to be around very similar to the Fritzes. They did win the previous one, though, so unlike the Fritzes, they don't have that much to make up. 9.1, which is one centimetre behind, not one centimetre, one millimetre behind the Fritzes. That's slightly annoying for the Marine team, but they do know that they've got some security after their first event win. Now, Carnival Crew, second place in the first event, very consistent team over the first two seasons, which is two points of auto qualifying this season in this game in the top four. See, that's, oh, it's not going to be a great push there, though. Overall, I think that's going to put them in the lower order. It's 26.6 centimetres for the Carnival Crew, disappointing, but just like Marine they have got some security following their good first event. Butterflies came ninth overall last season, but came last in the first qualifier event, and that's not a good sign. They've not put their captain in, they're putting their first reserve peacock in. Oh dear. I don't think Peacock really contributed much. They did. It was masked by the other three members. As that is by far the world teams of are not even going to break 20. 17.4 centimetres for the butterflies puts them by far in last. Now for the other insect team, the ladybirds finished just just ahead of the butterflies in last season. And they'll be significantly ahead of them here. They're going to break 30, possibly even 31. It's good to, it's to a second good event in these qualifiers for, this, for the red and black team. Which is very good news for them. In fact, it's it is dead on 31 centimetres. Good job by the Ladybirds. Now for the Green Turtles, who took second place in the qualifiers. Not the block, but the pre-qualifiers. They have penultimate runners, and they're going to get, a, I think, possibly even a better push in their pre-qualifiers run. That's going to possibly even take the lead. It's going to be very close with the Cream team. The 35.4. One millimetre behind the Cream team. That puts them into second place. Great news for the team who just missed out last season. This is going to help, hopefully, help them out significantly. And now finally, the newcomers, Eki Beckmanox. They won this event in the pre qualifiers, trying to be their own record. And oh. What happened there? That's really poor by Eki Beckmanox. They can't even get a past. They get to about a 25 flat, I can tell already. 25 flat for Eki Equinox. That's terrible. For the team who won in the pre qualifiers. And that means the Cream team have won this event. And so, Cream team win block pushing. But Green Turtles second and in third are the Cool Chameleons. It's going to have all these teams out in the standings. And looking at those then, of course, you can see it is the Cream team who now take the, the qualifiers lead. Octopi, LNX, then Marine team. Then Pirates, Green Turtles, Carnival Crew, and currently in the relegation zone. Icy Blast, Equibec, Knox, uh, Jellyfish, and Butterfly. Jellyfish and Butterfly, the bottom being 15th and 16th respectively in both of the first two events. Not a good start for either of those teams there. Really bad news. Equibec, Knox, and uh, Icy Blast, they're still very much in contention. I think Birds are probably down really, particularly in re risk. But with two events still to go, swimming and run race, anything can still happen. So remember to join us for those events. And goodbye.